Overuse of the shoulder or a forceful injury such as falling on an outstretched arm can cause a tear in the rotator cuff muscles of the shoulder. The shoulder is a ball and socket joint with the top of the upper arm bone, or humerus, moving within a shallow socket called the glenoid fossa. The socket is part of the shoulder blade, or scapula. The rotator cuff is the four muscles of the shoulder that help support the upper arm bone during rest and movement. These muscles are called the subscapularis, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and teres minor. They help keep the upper arm bone in the shoulder socket and also help you lift and rotate your arm. The muscles and tendons of the rotator cuff travel underneath the bony ledge of the acromion. There is also a bursa, or fluid sac, located between the rotator cuff and the acromion that helps these muscles slide smoothly during movement. The most commonly injured rotator cuff muscle is the supraspinatus. Rotator cuff muscles and tendons can be injured gradually due to overuse, where the soft tissue fibers may begin fraying. When a forceful tear occurs, the tissues may be torn from a sudden injury, like a fall on an outstretched arm. Symptoms of a rotator cuff tear may include shoulder pain, stiffness, weakness, and difficulty raising the arm above shoulder height, getting dressed, combing your hair, or tucking in a shirt can be difficult. Your sleep may also be limited because of shoulder pain. Physical therapy can help you recover from joint stiffness, muscle soreness, and teach you how to keep your shoulder moving while protecting the healing tissues. You will be given a home program that includes stretching and strengthening exercises and learn how to correct your posture to help prevent further injury.